Trail! What evil has been unleashed in Britannia? I'm not entirely sure. What evil? The Guardian! You shitheel! You've been fighting the motherfucker for four goddamn games! How do you not know this? What evil has been unleashed in Britannia? Your knowledge of the land shall be great. Of course, you're free to take any supplies that you find here in my castle. There is even some money there. Oh, yeah, a sack of gold pieces and anything I want from the castle. On a scale of 1 to 10 of helpfulness, that rate's a jackpoint shit. Seriously? Motherfucker's been waiting 20 years for my ass and he couldn't get together some weapons and armor to equip me by now? There's not even, like, a decent fucking steel sword laying around. How many fucking times have I swung by this goddamn castle to save the world, and Lord British has never given me the shit I need to do my fucking job? Also, just chilling around the throne room, there's this gargoyle dude, I don't know who he is, and I don't know why he's flying in place for seemingly no reason. And while I'm at it, I'm pretty sure winged flight doesn't allow you to hover in place. Sucks! And don't tell me he's a wizard or shit, because fuck you. To be the Sagralum of the gargoyles. I'm sorry, but what? I mean, who are the gargoyles? What, the gargoyles? Ah, you wouldn't know them. You only stole their most sacred holy book, dropped the Earth's crust on their homeland, and spent the entirety of Ultima VI dealing with them, you dumb fuck! Betrayal! I'm sorry, but what? I mean, who are the gargoyles? Your knowledge of the land shall be great. I mean, what in the... Who are the gargoyles? Who the fuck is this guy, and what's he done with the fucking Avatar, this useless, retarded, scum-lapping shitbag? To be unable to read the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom. The Codex of Ultimate Wisdom? What? The Codex of Ultimate Wisdom? What? The Codex of Ultimate Wisdom? Ah! The Avatar has to ask what the fucking Codex- No! No! No, it, this- it's a- do I even have to explain? And how many? I can't. I can't explain how. In, it's the thesis of the whole. I can't. I, this is what I'm dealing with. This is like the Pope asking what the fucking Bible is. The Codex of Ultimate Wisdom. Your knowledge of the land shall be great. Do not believe that the Avatar can have forgotten about the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom. No fucking shit. To know that the Codex will answer any question asked of it. Provided the lenses are used. To know that without the lenses, the Codex mm. appears to be gibberish. Uh, no it doesn't. That's not how the Codex works. The Codex of Ultimate Wisdom? And the lenses do not translate the Codex. It allows people to see into the ethereal void where the Codex was sent. Again in Ultima 6! And speaking me. of that, how did the Codex get out of the ethereal void and back on Britannia? Do you have any me. fucking clue how hard it was to send the Codex there in the first fucking place? How in the fuck do you make a game that makes less sense than Ultima fucking 1? I mean, okay, in Ultima 1 you had a medieval society with a booming trade in space shuttles, but at least in that game you didn't have 10 previous games of backstory to fuck up. I'm gonna cut the game coded in basic in like 1980 some slack. Oh, God. So you talk to the court mage, and she explains something called spellbinding, which binds spells to spellbooks. And if that's confusing, I understand, because it's something we've never had to do before, because magic, which doesn't work, works totally different now. Or at least it would work different now if it worked, which it doesn't. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, she can't even remember how to do the ritual, and she's the court mage of Britain. Betrayal! Just outside the mage's room, you find a shitload of crystal balls just sitting out there on the veranda, including one that... <laughs> it's centered right on the Guardian's fortress? Okay, I'll play. If Lord British has a crystal ball aimed right at the motherfucker's fortress, how is he not sure what evil threatens Britannia? I'm not entirely sure. He knows exactly where the Guardian is! Why the fuck has he not gone over there to kick his big red ass? We can't! The press! Fuck this! Lord British has been playing my ass for too long. I'm gonna give him this loaf of bread I made back on Earth as a present for the huge help he's been to me up to now. He won't even heal you in this game. And before you tell me he can't because magic doesn't work, it didn't fucking work in Ultima 7 either. It didn't stop him then. Betrayal! Check this out. I made special bread for you, King Asshat. Made it in my bread machine and dumped a fucking box of rat poison in that shit. What's with this guy anyway? He's a king and he just sees a whole loaf of dry, nasty-ass bread on a plate with nothing else and he just figures, okay, and he crams the fucking loaf in his mouth? What an asshole. But do take some food with you. You'll need to keep your strength up. Keep my strength up? Oh yes. Food will help keep you strong and make you heal faster, you know. Yes. A maid has to explain to the Avatar why it's good to eat food. The Avatar is too stupid to eat. 
And why is the kitchen behind a secret door? There are more secret doors in this castle than real ones. Literally, I checked. I also like this metal shit biscuit who offers to train you for 300 gold pieces. Moments after he said Lord British commanded him to offer you all courtesies. Yeah, apparently all courtesies doesn't encompass lending me his armor, weapons, or fucking free sword lessons. There's a wide variety of armor that you can get. Everything from leather to plate. The leather armor is probably the weakest. Probably? L Leather's probably the weakest. You don't know this. I'm not entirely sure. It only gets worse, and I mean way worse when you leave the castle and explore Britain. There's a hedge maze just outside, which naturally was never there in any game before this. Sucks! And a floaty flamey sword in the middle of it. I, I mean, why would it be there? Why didn't Lord British tell you about it? Britain itself is way smaller than it used to be in other games. It's only got like a handful of buildings with a population of, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 people, and that's counting the people in the castle. But all the people in town are assholes now because of all the weird columns that appear. The columns are magically twisting the virtue so that everyone behaves in the opposite of each city's official virtue. So because Britain's the city of compassion, everyone's behaving like a callous bastard now. Look at what you just did! Did you not see that pile of dirt? You just- Ah, oh, I'm inside the street sweeper! The Guardian controls the camera! The mayor of Britain's gone on this huge campaign of exiling the poor and sick out of town to somewhere else where they can die out of sight and stop taking advantage of people's charity and dragging down the economy. Insert Republican healthcare joke here. But here's the thing, if the column has made everyone in Britain a complete dickhead, why aren't the people in the castle angry and unhelpful too? In fact, everyone in the castle's been rather pleasant. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Marjorie. Oh, Jesus fuck. Can nobody in Britain pick a fucking accent and stick with it? Well, linear spells work, and scrolls still work. Well, hello, mate. How are you then? Why does his dialogue look cockney in text when he talks like he's from Tennessee? Go on in. Have a look about. All I know is there's supposed to be a piece behind a wall of water. Hello, what have we got here then? Your Honor, I swear to you, I am innocent. French? There's a France in Britannia? Where? No, it can't be. I may be old, but I wager I've still got some skills you haven't seen. You get many hillbillies in Britannia, do we? Yes, of course. It's all part of his policy to clean up the city and make it safe. And I support it. Aw, oh, come on. You can do better than that. How about some kind of racist Chinese laundry guy accent? Get offensive here. Swing for the cheap seats. Michael Bay this bitch. Oh, Avatar. Is that you? Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh no... Hi, Avatar! Look! I look just like you! Oh no! So anyway, I thought that a goat would be good for him, so I got him a goat! Neat, huh? <laughs> oh... Excellent! You're really going there, aren't you? Betrayal! You've created the Gavatar? Oh, please, keep my secret. Please, please, please! And what can we do to you? This game touched me, and I can never show you where. You know, sometimes I just... What do I even say about this? There is not a single fundamental level of my existence. This game has not found a way to horrify me. I am shocked to my fucking core. In this game, blatantly stealing stuff right in front of people and ransacking their houses for goods has absolutely no impact on virtue. Remember, it's not stealing if you have the key, which I stole. Stealing is almost expected of you to get decent weapons and armor because, get this, all you can even get in Britain in the store is leather armor. I repeat, the only armor available in the supposedly biggest city in the world, the seat of power, the capital of Britannia, is piecemeal leather armor. I am the goddamn Avatar! Why in the flying fuck am I more poorly equipped than this city guard? This game sucks! You find out that the original strongholds devoted to truth, love, and courage were all destroyed by the Guardian or other disasters. So they built a new cathedral in Britain devoted to love, only... Well, they kinda sorta forgot the most important thing to the religion when they cleared out Empath Abbey. Tragically, our most beloved icon, the Candle of Love, was lost when the Abbey was destroyed. What is the Candle of Love? Your knowledge of the land shall be great. Well, it's only one of the most important relics in your entire fucking religion, and you use it to destroy the Shadow Lords, idiot. You call me an idiot? Yes! I'm calling you an idiot! You and the stupid, useless, shit-licking slob-